Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 33 Line Diagram. In today's stream, we set out to set up a line diagram for our shadow triptych composition. And we've done these before. And we needed to expand how we use it for figures that cross bar boundaries. And we had to use basically the beat count. To give an example, this is minor figure 01, and it goes from this note all the way up to this note. And you'll notice it ends before the bar ends. So we can no longer do a timeline saying bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, bar 4. We literally have to count it by 16th note 1, 16th note 2, 16th note 14, and so forth. So that represented a significant expansion between what we have done in the past, and we were able to incorporate it by just showing instead of how many bars are in each part, so major figure, minor figure 1 has 30 16th notes, minor figure 2 has 25 16th notes, and so on and so forth. And we're still able to figure out the elapsed time and so we were able to work that out. And this is new territory, we said, moving into working with 16th notes and midpoint times. So we went ahead and added energy scores, energy scores uh, for the backbone and the passing chords. This, uh, if they ended on a a neutral note, we gave it a zero. If they ended on a minor major note, they gave it a one and an urge and a two. And so I figured that all out. And then if the chord, if it was a single note with no chord, it had zero chord energy. It was a tonic, it was one, dominant two. And syncopation, this was a new thing also. We had not done syncopation before. So we basically said, take each figure, like here's figure three, and it goes all the way to, it all goes all the, way, all the way to here. And for every note that's on the beat, bam, that's a one note on the beat. But this note is off, off the beat. And then some of the notes are on again. So we basically went through and figured out the ratio of on the beat, off the beat, and gave it a syncopation score. So that was new. And then we gave it our old friend the dynamic score from triple pianissimo to triple fortissimo and did all that. And the neat thing out of doing all that is we came up with our energy tree chart. This is our favorite thing to look at. And across the bottom are uh, time in seconds. It's just under a minute long at the moment. And then the vertical bar is the energy and then the dashed red line is basically the uh, average energy of the minor the common and the major just to give us a reference point. So some things stand out right away. The common full scale tends to have higher energy and then we say well why is that? Well part of that is because da, 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 da. it's got uh, more end mote nodes in here. It's a higher score of uh, urge, the urges. Remember urges always give us more energy. Um, it has dominant chords in there. Dominant chords give us more energy. So, and we could hear it. Every time we played it, we could hear that the middle part just stood out more. And uh, there's multiple reasons that parts can stand out, but a lot of it, in this case, is having to do with the chord energy and the type of note that's in there. Um, what else do we see? Well, there's a high point down here over in the four or five major and uh, more four or five major here and we see that they have um, they have uh, what do they have anything that is obvious it's just kind of relatively standing out anyway we then went in <laughs> And this is where we get lost because we really the point is and we do have one the point is we're trying to use visual guidance we're trying to go back and forth 
visually to, to see what to do orally and, and then orally changes what it looks like visualize so we did a lot of that a little bit of that I thought we had this label yeah anyway we decided as long as we've got a pretty chart why don't we change how it looks and so we we kind of softened the peak in here we softened the trough in here and we actually went through and um, we only worked with dynamics for now so we we kicked uh, figure two this one up a bit and we uh, brought down number seven which is over here brought it down a little bit and this one we kicked up a little bit and another one this one came down a little bit and then this one we kicked up a little bit that was number number four over here boom we made that go up so we're kind of we like this dome effect and we're kind of thinking and we tried to make that kind of a dome and then now we're thinking maybe next time maybe we could bring that up and down because the minor part was always sounding relatively low energy now all of this work has only been done for the backbone and the passing chords um, not not the roll notes and all that and what we were playing for you is was everything and what we were working with was we were muting the roll and the hops and just listening to what it sounded like um, with the backbone and the where do I want to do this the backbone and the and the passing chords and here we kicked it up louder and that corresponds to the chart where it kicked this up a little bit so that's what we have left to do so to take us home today I always like to play you something what if we just played play the whole thing here but we'll pay attention to visually watching this so here we go So one thing that really stood out and you can stand out seeing it here is almost every backbone passing chord is a two, is an interval or a, or a triad whereas when you look at the minors there's a lot of uh, single notes here here and that's an artifact there it is it's an artifact of how the rolls and the hops work so we think that where we're going to re-enter, as we said, for ideas next time is um, figure complexity, especially figure complexity here. And then look at further adjusting the, the chart shape for the domes and things like that. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest and open-mindedness to new ways of composing and looking how the process of composing things works. Everything is composing, we like to say. Yes, it is. And as always, keep on streaming.